Welcome to another Fast Tech video. Before we start, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to fix your Xbox Series S if it's no longer turning on. To fix this problem, we're going to need to take this Xbox apart. So let's get to work. To take the Xbox Series S apart, we're going to need to peel back these two stickers here, which will expose two Torx T8H screws. These are not regular T8 screws, but rather security Torx T8H screws. This bit is included in the FastTech toolkit. With those screws gone, we can remove the bottom cover like this. Next, we got to remove these green long Torx T10 screws. Then we're going to pull up on this side of the case like this and it's going to come off. Now this piece must be lifted up. Replacement power supplies for these units are available at FastTechStore.com with a lifetime warranty and free worldwide shipping. To get the non-working power supply out of there, there's some more Torx T10 screws that we have to remove. With those screws out, we're going to push here and the power supply is going to come out. This thermal conducting material, which is known as thermal putty, must be moved over like this. This customer gave me the classic, while you're in there, can you clean out the dust? So that's exactly what I'm going to do. The PSU or power supply unit converts electricity from your wall into DC current that the Xbox can use. These tend to blow during a power surge or a lightning strike. Sometimes these can die because of overheating and other times they just go out just because. But before we replace it, we want to test the old power supply to make sure that it is a problem. A non-working power supply will output zero volts, like this one here, and a working power supply outputs 12.10 volts. Some Xbox Series S power supplies that I've tested output 11.8 volts. Now that we know that the old power supply was bad, let's replace it. We're going to make sure it's seated properly and then we're going to flip the system over and install these Torx T10 screws in the following places. Now we got to install this panel on like so. And then the top cover goes on like this. The front goes on first. Pull the case outwards on both sides to get it on. Make sure this power button presses before continuing. Now these long Torx T10 screws go in the following places. Next, this bottom panel goes on like this. And then these Torx T8H security screws go here and here. I'm gonna clean the outside of this Xbox with isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol is safe to clean electronics as it evaporates quickly. 
It is also safe to use on plastic matte surfaces. Now for the good part, the results. So let's plug it in and let's test it out. And this time, the Xbox turns on like it should. FastTechStore.com carries all Xbox Series S parts from motherboards, screws, case parts, power supplies, and everything in between. All of our parts include a lifetime warranty and free worldwide shipping. Use coupon code YouTube for a discount. Thanks for watching another Fast Tech video.